Hi, today we are going to talk to Dr. Shreya Shah regarding how to do Masters in Dental Research in the US. If you are interested, stay tuned. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Dr. Shreya Shah graduated with a BDS degree and then went on to earn a master's degree in dental biomaterials from the University of Alabama. Dr. Shah is a clinic research manager currently for Glidewell Dental. She has been working with the company for the past 10 years where she writes literature reviews for a variety of dental materials and implant products. She also devises protocols for clinical and laboratory studies for dental materials and medical devices. Dr. Shreya Shah, thank you for taking your time and coming here and sharing your journey of doing research in US after BDS in India. So my first question to you is, a lot of people after they do their BDS in India think about doing MPH and MHA in US. But you went on to do MS in research. How did you think about it? Uh, so I didn't want to do MPH or uh, uh, MPH because I wanted to still stay in the dental industry and uh, I didn't want to change my field. I wanted to just specialize doing some programs in dental research, uh, dental related field. So that's why I didn't want to go in MPH area. But yeah, after graduating and uh, from uh, BDS, uh, I was looking for programs here uh, in research field because there was so much saturation in India and every street had two or three dentists there and so much competition was there and my dad wanted me to get my higher education abroad so then I started looking for programs here in US and found that there are a couple of non-clinical field uh, non-clinical field research, uh, related to research which I can apply and as you know that uh, DD Yes, programs are very expensive. The you have to pay like tuition of two two hundred k to three hundred k anywhere between that, and you need a sponsor for that. So that route that route I didn't took. And in research field, um, I got selected in one of the program which is MS in clinical uh, MS in dental biomaterials, and that's how my journey started. So how do you apply to these universities? Is there any exam process or how the entire application process goes through? Uh, yeah, so mainly um, you go to their website, look for all the uh, required documents they need. Mainly they look for GRE, TOEFL. They don't require NBD as per se because NBD is required for uh, DDS. So most of the criteria is you should have good score in GRE and TOEFL and that's how you, and you need SOPs, LO our letter of recommendation, uh, one from the dean, and all uh, all these documents, and that's yeah. You apply in uh, research field in oral biology or dental materials related field. Yeah. Okay. So, which all universities provides these courses? And so do they is... have scholarships? Before you listen to that answer, if you're liking this interview, please do not forget to hit the like button below. And I'm sure you're already subscribed to our channel. If not, you should because we keep on posting amazing content to take your career after BDS to the next level. Uh, so uh, they don't have scholarship in the first year, but when you start the research, they give you scholarship as you progress and as you do more and more research. So in the second year of your uh, second year, you start getting some scholarship. So you don't have to pay as much tuition, which they usually, uh, which is posted on their website. So, yeah. And how do you find out these universities? Is there any portal available? Uh, there is no portal available, but there are five, six different universities which are uh, which are giving this program uh, related to MS in dental biomaterials, which includes University of Alabama at Birmingham, U UPenn, uh, University of Pennsylvania, Mark Marquette University, University of Mich uh, Mississippi, and uh, yeah, these are the few university which provides uh, ma masters in dental biomaterials or yeah. So how long is this program? Is it six months, one year, two years? And what all do you learn exactly? So like uh, the program usually masters is for two years, but if uh, if your uh, if the director of the uh, department 
is uh, has a grant or some bigger project that you can continue doing the PhD in the same program. Wow, so that's yeah, so you can do that uh, as well. And uh, what was the other question that you asked? What do you learn basically during yeah. the two years? So yeah, basically it is like you get a lot of uh, research projects from all different dental companies which are developing dental materials and they give their product for for uh, university to get them tested and get their feedback as a third party unbiased opinion. Uh, so uh, we do research on all the experimental dental biomaterials. We do a lot of courses related uh, to dental materials uh, and general biomaterials uh, courses are there in that then you learn a little bit of um, a couple of uh, courses related to statistic uh, like how do you do the research how you analyze the data and all that understood so now yeah. once you study for two years okay and you have been told that the first year you'll have to pay your full fee and if you're a good student you do a lot of research your second fee you'll get some amount of grant yeah yeah yes but now if your staff member does not have a PhD he doesn't have enough grant for you to do a PhD so you have finished mm -hmm. your master's yeah. After completing your master's, mm -hmm. is it easy to get a job? First thing. Second mm -hmm. thing, are these jobs usually in pharma companies or in academics? Okay. So, yeah, it, it's not easy that much to find a job because once I graduated, I started applying here in all like around eight to 10 dental companies. And I got calls from only a couple of companies. So, yeah, it is like you have it. It, it could be in any field like you you take time to get job, you do your research, then they uh, interview you. And then if everything matches, then you get uh, a job opportunity. But yeah, it's still durable. Yeah, it's still okay to get. And secondly, it is not related. Uh, like I, lo I looked for the job in the dental industry. I didn't went into the pharma side of it. So I was looking job in like big 3M, Ivoclar and uh, Kerr all these companies and finally uh, they require like people who have specialization in dental field and then they can help in research in dental materials because there are so many dental products which uh, dentists uh, dentist uses right so uh, all this product needs fda clearance and they require a rigorous amount of testing so they require certain kind of expertise coming from dental field as well uh, from that side and as I told you that um, in the second year, the fee get, uh, gets waived uh, because uh, there are uh, if uh, there are grants coming to the professor from uh, the big dental companies and and in second year, you are considered as a resident of that particular state also. So your fees is waived by 50% for the second year. Good, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to know these jobs, you usually get an H-1B visa because this is H-1B visa issue yeah. in US. Yeah. So you easily yeah. get them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because they have a good, uh, like usually there is uh, good dental companies have a good HR and then they have an uh, immigration lawyer associated with them. So they usually, usually sponsor your H-1B within one or two years, so, uh, one or two years uh, after you get because after you graduate, you still have that one year of OPT. So you continue your work as initially on your OPT and then they convert your OPT, your student visa into the H-1B visa. Okay, understood. This one question I wanted to ask you, if you do not get a job out there, maybe there's mm -hmm. an H-1B visa or some issue of sorts, is that MS degree in research mm -hmm. useful? Can you find jobs outside US with it? Uh, yeah, we can find job outside US it, uh, from US as well. And I have recently seen and I was doing my research and we were planning to conduct some research with Indian companies. So I have found that couple of Indian companies are doing research and they are developing dental biomaterials. So a couple of them are in Jammu area, a couple of them are in Ahmedabad and one startup company has started in Pune. So our right. India is also progressing in research field um, so i think and manipal university is doing research so you can go in academic area of the research as well as the industry side of the research so there are options available uh, for like the degree will be useful for you even you uh, decide to go back to india there are some companies coming up in india and the research is about to be initiated in india as well so, so it'll, it'll be good you'll get the start yeah. initially itself yeah yeah exactly good. 
mm-hmm. now if someone is planning to take your path okay do what you did what would be mm-hmm. your tips for them what they should do yeah uh, so uh, mostly do your research there are five six different uh, five six different university as i mentioned university of uh, upen university of pennsylvania michigan uh, mississippi university uh, university of alabama at birmingham so if you are really interested in research because in india we know that research doesn't happens that much right so uh, it was completely new for me and then i know that uh, like how dental materials evolve from the formulation to the final product which goes in the hand of dentist and how they use it and how they change the life of the patient uh, 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 the patients they have right so if you are really interested where we in india we usually focus on theoretical knowledge and focus on uh, that side but if you are really passionate and want to learn about uh, research where uh, where everything initiates and how it is converted into final product the life cycle of the complete material so it is very fascinating if you are really interested you should go for it okay is there any difficulties you faced in the process which you would like to uh, advise these dentists difficulty like i had uh, like uh, i had good mentors in my life so not that much difficulty but yeah first year was difficult because you don't have enough funds then you have to look for roommates and then you have to figure that out uh, right like that initial that cultural uh, six, shift is there yeah yeah exactly cultural shift is there and first six month was difficult but after first six month if you can pass through that then everything seems like yeah you everything flows then so it's uh, not that much difficult understood yeah because i've seen your uh, bio data and you're done an amazing job from where you started Thank you. and you seem to be growing okay yeah. and you've taken time out from your busy schedule to come and explain dentists about your journey dr shriya shah mm. thanks a lot thank you